No, you ain't touching my. Do not touch. Hey, do not touch my door. I know. Yeah, that. Hey, hey, no, don't, ma'am. That's physical. At first, I was gonna be nice and, and, and not say nothing, and you guys are ridiculous. Interference is a physical I'm act. Over here. Please stop talking to me. I'm not talking. I'm talking to myself. Your ADD, ain't, your ADD now. ain't my problem. Are you on probation, bro? And he thinks I'm going to answer him questions. I have the right to remain silent whether I'm in cups or not. What's up, guys? Welcome back to San Valley Transparency. On a recent video, a man left a comment saying he had to let Clovis police have it because they entered his home and closed his door while they were serving a search warrant on his next door neighbor. So I went to his channel and found this video with very little views. This video is about to get thousands of views because of the way these cops acted. They were unprofessional. They were rude. They tried to intimidate him and failed miserably. At first, I thought I wasn't going to like this video, but as the video kept playing, I found myself glued to the screen like a thumbtack to a teacher's ass on a school prank. This guy goes off on these cops like if they put pickles on his burger after he asked for no pickles. These cops wish they could have arrested him, but they had no crime to charge him with. That and the fact that he's holding a camera for dear life like it's a force field that contains kryptonite. One cop even stands in front of his door and begins to look around like a lost child sifting through a crowd at a carnival who's just lost his mommy after letting go of her hand. This cop is desperate. What you're about to see is quite satisfying to say the least. All the way to the end of the video, this guy berates the cop that has no choice but to do the walk of shame. Let's watch this fulfilling video. We'll pause for some comments. I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. And don't forget to subscribe to his channel. I'd like to see him get out there and record some more cops. Let's get right to it. No. No, you ain't touching my. Do not touch. Hey, do not touch my door. I know. Yeah, that. Hey, hey, no, don't, ma'am. That's physical. See, at first I was gonna be nice. At first I was gonna be nice and, and, and not say nothing. And you guys are ridiculous. Interference is a physical I'm act. Over here. Please stop talking to me. I'm not talking. I'm talking to myself. Your ADD. Ain't, your ADD ain't my problem. It's ridiculous. They close my door by force, but when you don't want them to come in, they the keep. They keep. Shut up no, pay won't. Attention yourself. no, won't. No, won't. Focus on your job, bro. It's because your autism's kicking in. Fucking, just earning. I wouldn't even do nothing to, to be rude to them. They're just earning the hate. That's why police people don't trust them. What they're doing? Tell me to close my door and then forcefully close it. My door, not their door, my door. Oh, oh. Not even top 10 dangerous jobs and they're acting like it's dangerous. Why do you hate us? We pay your salary, bro. I'm a taxpayer. You, I can't, that's physical, bro. That's physical. That's physical interacting. You're saying you're, you're lying, bro. By the color of law, you're lying. By saying I'm interacting, I have to physically interact. Yeah. But that's called an inter. No. You. That's your problem. If you have ADHD, you shouldn't, have you shouldn't have a gun if you have autism. Then you shouldn't have a gun if you have autism. If you can't focus on one thing, yeah, smile because you know I'm right. You know I'm right. I just said nothing. You guys, I was minding my business. You, you, you guys go and grab you, you don't tell you, you don't tell if it, it follow it with a penal code though. Did you open your door back? It was it was open. It? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, my door. So no, way. I'm not. Focus on your job, bro. Don't focus hey, on me. Seven, seven, seven. Right. All right, thank you. Sh shouldn't be in the, in the with a weapon if you can't focus on one thing, bro. That's not my fault. I'm not trying to be mean or or interfere like you said. Interfere. You I had no. I'm not, bro. Yeah. You no, you no, I'm not. It don't work like that. You can say what you want. Doesn't mean it's law. That's why they call them laws. I'm done with you, bro. Don't, don't. Why would I be referring to that since you're so aware of the law? Anyways, you guys, like so I you said, you guys see, about. you guys seen. I was at a distance from my door, and they physically closed my door. Talking about I physically interacted, which is impossible. Standing at a distance, physically. They just throw these these policy words out there and think policies a uh, uh, law. Not how it works. Not even top ten dangerous jobs, and they make they make it dangerous. Look at them, got a military hat on. Go to Iraq if you want to be in the military. Fucking more pizza men die in a year than these guys. More garbage truck drivers die. Fucking taxi drivers die. Look at them, the smart, the hate. I, I didn't do nothing to earn this hate. Look at them. So all I did was just record. First Amendment, my First Amendment. What he swore an oath. 
He put his hand on the Bible and said he would protect what he, he went against right now. Are you on probation for all? And he thinks I'm going to answer him questions. I have the right to remain silent whether I'm in cuffs or not. You're That's the funny thing. That's the funny thing. Law. I have the right to remain silent. I have the right to remain silent whether I'm on probation or not. This cop is now trying to get him on a probation violation. Unbelievable. If I was this guy, I would have asked him, is your mom on probation? Is your mom on parole? I've actually heard somebody say that before. I thought it was brilliant. No, you're good. Thank you. See, see you, you see how petty that is, bro? I'm, I wasn't being petty. I was not interfering. And look at him already trying to throw out, are you on probation or parole? Just to try to throw some. Why? Like, what is, he's going to go home. He's going to go home. He's going to go, he's going to go to the office and slap ass with his partner. He's going to go home and slap ass with his partners for trying to violate somebody's probation. You see, that's petty. My tax dollars are paying for him to be petty. But you, you guys say us people with cameras are petty. All I'm doing is wanting him to be held accountable. Why isn't he focusing on his job? Why is he focusing on me? His, his, his mental, he's mentally unstable. He shouldn't have a gun if he can't focus on his job. I didn't want it to come to this. All I wanted to do was record what was happening to my neighbor. That's it. I didn't interfere. I didn't say nothing. I mean, the video speaks for itself. I never said anything to the dude or his partners or anybody. I don't wish no harm on them or nothing. But when you start trying to violate my rights and be petty, talking about are you on probation and parole and all that, I wish all the worst for you. I, I did nothing wrong. I didn't do nothing to deserve this. Focus on your task. Don't focus on somebody with a camera. You're the one with a, a badge, a vest, 10 cl magazines on his chest, and he's just itching to shoot some, and then he's itching to put me in jail for a violation of probation or parole, talking about if I'm on probation or parole. He thinks I'm going to fall for his bullshit. No, this ain't the Clovis Rodeo, and he's the Clovis Police Department. That's why he thinks he's going to bring that Clovis bullshit over here. He's in Fresno on a probation suite. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to start all this, bro. I did it. I didn't want this. I just want to record Look at how every other officer ain't said nothing to me. But that one dude, there's always that one. The one with the big ego trip. Even her with their gun, she followed his orders. But if he told her to go do some malicious, of course she's going to do it. That's why no good cops exist. They don't let good cops exist. Good cops snitch on the bad cops and they get kicked off the force. Tell me I'm lying. Prove that to me. I'll show you guys video evidence that when good cops rat out bad cops, they get kicked off the force. And they're talking about rats. They love rats. They need rats to do their job. They couldn't open an umbrella without a damn confidential informant. You know? But when you snitch on them, they hate them. Intimidation factor kicks in. Look at him. Being petty. Are you on probation or parole? You have to. No, I have the right to remain silent 24-7, 365. I have the right to remain silent 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, which is like 31 hours a day. You know what I'm saying? I don't fall for the trickery. And I'm not saying I hate police. I hate bad cops like him. Being petty. Look at this guy. He ain't saying nothing to me. Focused on his job. But the one with ADHD, the one with the bad mentality, the autism, whatever, can't focus on his purpose. They already, they were in an office saying what they were going to come to do. And, and, and he messed up his own game plan. They were in the office sitting there. This is what we're going to do when we get to the shelter. You know, we're going to rush the door, blah, blah. But they didn't account for people with cameras. And then if you have a camera, you're interfering, which is a physical act. How did I physically interfere standing at a distance with a camera? Talk to me like I have an IQ of a police officer, that police officer, not all of them. Talk to me like I got the IQ of that single police officer, how I interfered. Because he had to look at me. He didn't have to look at me. Got four police officers right there with guns. And, and military weapons and, and and handheld bulletproof vests. And the funny thing is they have a wand, a metal detector down there. So they metal detectors before, so you can't bring in guns or knives in here. Because they got metal detectors down there. They just, they just like throwing their weight around. I'm not saying all of them, just this one Pacific cop. Dude is being a, a, a jerk for nothing, dude. Of course, you guys, some of you guys are going to go against what I have to say, saying that I should just put my camera down, close my door. No, I shouldn't. Why do I have rights then? What are my rights for if I can't use them? What good are my rights if I can't use them? Why would it be so easy for a cop just to stomp on your rights that easy?
Why you pay taxes for then? It, 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 why you American citizen it, it, if you want your rights to be violated so easily? Like I said, a jobs, a cop's job isn't even top ten the most dangerous jobs, bro. I could call a guy to deliver me pizza right now. He'll be more in danger than this cop ever will be. And then you see what he did. That's why bad things happen. What if I was off the hinges and, and that, that triggered me to do something bad? Him doing that. Then you guys are going to blame me. Oh, that guy had he was mentally unstable. He was just itchy. No. You know? Look at this guy. Don't focus on me at all. Look at this. Look at Look at Saying nothing to me. Nothing at all. But you get this one arrogant punk that got bullied in high school trying to throw, are you on probation or parole? Uh, you're, you're physically interfering. Physical? It's physical. It has it in there. Physical. You have to physically interfere. Look at him. He hates me now. Why? I don't know. I don't know the guy. Never saw him a day in my life. But he hates me because I'm exercising my rights. I don't, you know, why, why are you going to uphold the, the, to, to protect my constitutional rights if you hate when I exercise them? It, 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 it's a moron. The dude is a moron. I'm not speaking for every cop. I'm speaking for this one single unfit to be a, a, a cop. The dude is mentally unstable, but he got some weapon in his hip. You know? It's ridiculous. It's sad is what it really is. And, and people, people back, back the blue until it happens to you. Weren't lines made to separate people? You know, it's them versus us. It's ridiculous. Like I say, I have no problem with, I have family in law enforcement, but this guy, he's just unstable character. The jerk. Are you on probation or parole? And then for what? He's in. A, let's say I was on probation or parole. He's gonna tell my parole or my probation officer, well, we're, well, we've had a game plan, and then. I had to turn my focus to him. But why did you turn your focus to him? What was he doing that you turned your focus to him? Just recording. So how was he interfering if he's just recording? Your autism, your ADHD, your, your, you, you can't focus, that's his problem? You shouldn't have a gun on your hip if you can't focus uh, on, your, on your job. You know, he's unfit for it. But I'm not going to be petty like him. I'm not going to go file no complaint. I'm going to do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? The dude's going to go home. He got to look at himself in the mirror at the end of the day. He knows he's a piece of shit. A, a furry, hairy piece of shit with, with sriracha seeds in it, with hamburger bun seeds in it. He, he's a horrible person, bro. Just him, though. Not the rest. Look at all them. Why weren't they asking if I was on probation or parole? Why weren't they telling me to not interfere? Why was it just this one tough guy? He thinks he's tough. That's the funny thing, too. This guy is actually funny the way he's talking to this cop. Do you guys think this cop deserved every bit of it? I personally do. This cop was going out of his way to get this guy in trouble. This guy is standing in his home and the freedom of speech is a beautiful thing, folks. That's why we continue to teach you guys how important it is to learn your rights. You can definitely tell this guy's been watching a lot of our videos. Like I said, he left a comment on my channel. Outstanding work. Maybe one of these days I'll link up with this guy and we'll go out recording together. I'm not too far from him as a matter of fact. Hey, and then the funny thing is, there was just a cop in Clovis that got caught with, um, for being drunk and, and with drugs. Why ain't this cop saying nothing bad about him? Why ain't he saying that we don't, we don't want, we don't want bad cops on? And then the other cops that had, that had all that fentanyl in his system, the, the dude on, on, on copper and knees, the cop, the cop that got caught on copper and knees, he was belligerent drunk with, with a controlled substance. Why don't they want to say what controlled substance? When was that? Like a week ago. Wasn't close. Yeah, it was in no, not close PD. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just saying, why don't you, why don't you guys just shame bad cops altogether? If there's a bad cop, just say, hey, we don't want that on our force. But they're not. They don't do that because if he speaks out on a cop, they're gonna think he's a good cop and try to get him off of force. All of a sudden, his shooting's gonna be bad, or all of a sudden, he's gonna get his hours cut. Good cops don't exist because they don't let them exist, bro. When good cops turn in bad cops, all of a sudden they're unfit to be cops. They they find faults in, in, in their jobs or, or they intimidate the good cops that's why i never see there's no good cops bro find me a video of a good cop doing something good and keeping his job won't happen i'll bet my life on it but why ain't they speak why is he trying to get me to to say i'm on probation or parole but i ain't speaking out on cops on drugs with fentanyl don't they have all these billboards saying how bad fentanyl is but their cops are over there abusing crystal meth and fentanyl crashing the, the their vehicles i don't hear him i don't hear this I, yeah, it is, but it's a PD, police department. You're a police department, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he won't shame them, though. They won't shame them. Oh, it's an active investigation. We can't talk. Oh, but I guarantee you, if I had a gun and drugs right now, they'll put me all over Facebook. During the investigation, they'll talk about me, slander my name, call me a menace to society. All do the investigation. But let a cop 
be in the investigation. Oh, we can't speak on a cop. We, it's a, it's an investigation. We can't talk. See that? It's, it, it's, it's double-sided, bro. It's not fair for us. We're the taxpayers. You know what I'm saying? We don't even feel safe. And then when you get pulled over, why are you nervous? Dude, you guys are out here being petty. Are you on probation or parole for filming us, for doing a probation sweep? Like, how 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 are you going to get somebody to like you for trying to get them to violate probation or parole just for exercising their First Amendment right in, 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 in video recording what they're doing on their, on their job? Well, I don't get it. I do not get it. Like, talk to me like I got this dude's I, single IQ. You know what I'm saying? Explain to me what I was doing wrong standing at a distance with my door already open. When they came, my door was already open. It's not like I opened it. If... If I had opened and then he told me to close it, yes, okay, I understand, do your job. But mine was already open. What good are my rights if I can't use them and abuse them and exercise them? And then for him to just trample all over him like that? Oh, you on probation or parole? What was he going to do if I was on probation or parole? Get me locked up for three days? For what? For, for exercising my right to record? It's petty, bro. Why ain't these cops doing it? Why ain't these, these guys over here focused on me? They got guns and badges and everything too. Is it, I, I'll, I'll say it with confidence, bro. The dude is a piece of shit, bro. And then he got to go home and look at himself in the mirror. He could go and s touch dicks with all his bad cop partners and slap ass and do what he wants to do. But at the end of the day, he knows when he lays his head down, he's a piece of shit for what he tried to do to me today. I can't speak on what he did before, but as far as what he did today, by trying to violate my rights, have that lady. He didn't even close my door. He had her. He had her. He had her do his deed for him. He couldn't close my door himself. He had somebody else do his, his, his deed for him. I'd like to talk about something that's not often mentioned, the hiring process of cops. Did you know that if you're going to become a cop, they go out of the way to talk to your neighbors, family, and friends to ask about what kind of person you are? They do extensive research on you, background checks. It's like if you're signing your life away to become a cop. And if you don't play by their rules and back the blue, they're going to try to ruin your life and make it to where you don't get a job anywhere else. Before becoming a cop, you should really think about how much you give up just to become a cop. And if he can't focus on his job, he has ADHD or autism, he shouldn't have a gun, right? Men, they want extensive backgrounds and mentally unstable people to not have guns. Yeah, he shouldn't have a gun. And they got some military cap on. So they get, go back to Iraq. Go fight the war in Iraq. Go, to, go fight the war in Ukraine. You want to be militarized. Don't bring that shit to the streets. So Armando Hernandez, you're you know what I'm saying? That I have a mental health disability. And you're he because can, he can't he can't fo he can't focus. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right. and now and now he's now he's upset that I'm calling him out on his instability to keep Armando, focus on his job. They had they had a they, and then he thinks I have to answer this question again. My my rights to remain silent 24 seven. It's like 31 hours a day. I have I have I, I'm talking to myself. You know what I'm saying? He thinks I'm talking to him because I'm talking out loud. See, there's another. When people think that thing, he's mentally unstable. I don't know, be surprised if, well, what else he does. Probably, he's probably going to be so upset that he's going to go home and kick his dog or be the significant other. That's how upset he is. Calling me out by my name. You see that? That's how petty he is. I, I haven't said his name. I haven't asked for his badge number. I'm not petty, bro. I'm, I'm above that, bro. I haven't asked for his, his badge number. His name, I don't care for him, bro. I do not care for him. His badge number, his, his name, none of that, bro. I don't give a shit about him. I just want you guys to see how shitty of a person he did with his actions. His actions speak louder than words. I, you guys saw it. You know what I'm saying? Are you on probation or parole? For what? For, for, for video camera in you? For 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 for, for video camera in you for video camera in you in your in, in, in your duties, you know what I'm saying? You see that? Petty. Petty. Hey, do you want the program director to come and the case manager? I can have them come to this call. She said if you guys need her to come, she can come. She's five minutes away. Are you the manager? I'm just staff. I'm the one running it. And then somehow he figured out my name. He figured out my name. He's calling court cases that I already served my time for. Oh, it's, so it's, 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 all, it's, it's, it's all behind me. You know what I'm saying? Like him, he, like he does bad things. I did a bad thing too, but I take accountability. I'm not trying to throw it on nobody else. Yeah, I did it. I, I manned up. I told the judge, hey, my fault. Lock me up, you know what I'm saying? I'll do my time. Did it. I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? I admit when I'm wrong. This guy would never admit when he's wrong. 
He'll hide behind his qualified immunity. He won't drug test. I guarantee you, if you ask him right now to drug test, he won't drug test. Cops don't want drug tests. You know what I'm saying? They're too busy using fentanyl, pulling people over, taking their crystal meth and smoking it and crashing the PD cars. You know what I'm saying? Just like the other cops that were selling, selling pills, guns, cocaine, and weed. Dude only got two years and his pension. I understand that. Look at why aren't they calling out my name? Why why aren't they asking about my previous court cases? Why is it only this jerk? Why is it only this tough guy with with a, with a shitty look on his face? Like I don't know what I did for him to treat me like that. I really don't. He didn't have to tell me to close my door. He didn't have to focus on me. I did nothing for him. I I did nothing for him to focus on me. Is that a camera? I did nothing for him to focus on his attention on me and and, and, and and try to stomp on my rights and violate my rights. I didn't. Like I said, my door was already open when they got here. It's all on camera, you know what I'm saying? There's no reason to lie. Then he said he, he thinks he thinks he's he thinks he's pushing my buttons by calling my name out and, and telling me and, and, t and telling me about my previous court cases that I already served time for. You know what I'm saying? Like I care. You know what I'm saying? I'm, pr I'm proud of myself. I, I, I ain't ashamed of what I've done in life. You know? I'm a taxpayer. I'll show, I, I got proof that I, should, I pay taxes. You know? Yeah, I'm living in a shelter. My, the same taxes they took out of my check each week that they're still taking out of my checks each week pay, are paying for this. one from the call. He's sitting there calling this guy. This, this guy calling my name out. I don't know how. I don't know how he got my name. Obviously, he talked to staff. They gave him my name. I don't know why they did that. I, not that I care. It just just goes to show you guys how petty he is that he called to get my name. He already ran my name through the system. That's how he knows about my background. You know what I'm saying? If that don't show you guys how petty the dude is, what is? But go ahead. You guys can cite. Some of you bootlickers can cite with him. I don't mind. That's you. You guys got to live with it. I don't. So people like him don't de they they don't deserve a badge, bro. We want people out here to protect. He held an oath to protect my rights, and he's in there going against that. He's wiping his ass with the Constitution. He don't he don't care. Oh, your previous case? How was your court case? You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna dig that deep, do do it right, and he'll see that I already served time. But he got all he did was get a taste of the pie. He didn't get the whole thing. He only got a little taste of it. So. I, like the gentleman I am, filled them in. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. I served my time proudly. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit to me. I, I'd admit it. I fucked up. But he won't. He won't admit. He won't admit how petty he's been. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, he got to look at himself every day in the mirror, and he knows he's a piece of shit. A solid fucking piece of shit. With peanuts and sesame seeds and jalapeno seeds and... Discolored with fungus and, and, and all that shit. He's a piece of shit. Tim. I don't I don't care for his name or badge number either. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what happens to him. Piece of shit. And they told me to turn my music down? I turned it down for them. You get what I'm saying? Like, see? I... I, d I did what I thought was right. Closing my door, I didn't have to do that. The music thing, I understand. That, that, that's a, a real big distraction. When the lady the lady that closed my door told me to turn my music down, what did I do? Turned it off. I didn't turn it down. I turned it off. Because she asked nicely, hey, turn your music down. Turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Look at the guy trying to kick a conversation up with me. He should go fucking go off himself is what he should do. You know what I'm saying? Piece of shit. Piece of shit. You want probation or parole? Petty, bro, just fucking petty. Like, how, how how do you want the public to trust you when you want to do something as petty as try to get somebody to violate your probation? Hey, bro, don't 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 bring family into this motherfucker. Do not do that. Don't don't fucking do that, bro. Don't do that. I never asked about your personal yeah, yes. life. I don't ask about your personal life, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't yeah, don't, bro. I could get I could get nasty too with words, bro. Don't do it. Don't, don't ask about my personal life is what the fuck I'm telling you, bro. Don't do it. No, don't conversate with me, bro. Focus on your job. Didn't you guys have a plan over there to come? Did, no, you see? See? That, the, 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 the dude, why does he have a focus on me? When they were in the COVID PD HQ, did, 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 they, did they mention me? No, they didn't. The dude can't focus. This is what I'm telling you. He shouldn't have a gun on his hip if he can't focus on his job. But you guys are going to tell me I'm wrong. What happened?
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he and then he's gonna go ask a personal question like if I have kids like I don't I don't get it I don't get this shit. I, I, thank you for that, bro. Thank you for that. But I never got in your personal life, did I? No, I. I it's not a personal thing. Yes, it is. You got a wife and kids? No. But I don't need to know that though. You should. You don't need to know that either. Like I said I wasn't trying no. to offend you. you well, I, I was very, I was very offended by that, bro. Because that, that. Thank you for that. Thank you. See, look at a cop city. Sorry, I appreciate. Thank you for that, bro. Thank you for that. Thank you for saying sorry. But all I did was criticize your character. I never mentioned your friends, your family, none of these other cops, nothing. You get what I'm saying? And then as far as you running my name to run my background, come on, bro. That's not that I care. That just shows your character, though. Well, why was that necessary? All because I'm video camming? Okay, talk to me like I have your single digit IQ. Me standing over here in my in my room. Look it. Look it. Standing in my room at a distance, video camming. Yeah, I'm just because like I said, I'm focusing on you though. Did I say about your family or friends? No. No, it's not. A, it's proven. It's proven on the phone, bro. I'm I'm degrading the shit out of you. Why? Well, why did I degrade you before you try to violate my rights by telling me that I'm interfering? No, it's it's physical. Interference is physical, bro. Why don't you get that, bro? It's physical. Just because I'm and I didn't say nothing to interfere. I never said nothing. Okay, it's all. It was open already, though. That's the thing. When you when she when she you didn't even tell her when she told me to turn my music off. Did it get turned off? There you go. You see, you see how I do. You see how I can be nice. I can be nice, bro. I'm not an asshole like you, you're trying to make me out to be. I don't have to, bro. I don't. No, you don't. That's that's a physical disability if you can't focus on one thing at tap. You guys literally had a game plan at your HQ. You you were the only one that didn't focus on the game plan. All of them. Why ain't they over there running my name and talking about my past? Why ain't they focusing on me? Why are they able to focus on task at hand? Why are they all able to focus on task at hand and not you? Why did it have to get to that, that you have to run my name and bring up my past? All because I want a video camera. I, I don't get it. I'm just trying to figure it out. You fall physical if you're interfering it is a physical act he keeps saying that I was I, was, I was interfered by opening my door that was already open they shut it they had no right to shut my door you know what I'm saying but this is this is why this is why people dislike certain cops because of their actions their actions I didn't do nothing for for it to get this far it, it didn't have to get this far. All he had to do was focus on task at hand, which they already had a game plan. They 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 went over this over there in Clovis. Seven to eight miles away from here, they were sitting in a room saying, this is what we're going to do when we get there. They already have a, a, a layout of, of what everything looks like, everything. But nobody said that if a neighbor has his door open, you, you can't interfere with them because... It, it, how the hell am I interfering with my my door open video camera? Oh, because I got to focus on you. No, you don't. You don't. You have a job. You can't focus on your job. That's not my fault. And then to say that I'm interfering, that I'm breaking the law. See, see what 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 grinds my gear is if he if he said that that, that, that I was bothering. No, bothering is not a not a crime. Interference can you can be charged with a crime for interference. And he's he's trying to throw a crime on me that don't exist. By saying I'm interfering, he can charge me with a crime. If he said I'm just bothering him, that's not in the books. Fine, whatever. If I'm bothering him by, by exercising my rights, not my fault, his fault. But to sit there and, and stand there proudly with his chest pumped in the air by saying that I physically interfered with him by opening my door and recording, which was already open, that's 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 just a shady character, bro. That it's cartoonish. And then he says that he has to focus on me. Why? I was he didn't know I existed yeah, till he ran my name. Till I exercised my rights. But yeah, I, I get it. Some of you guys are gonna d discourage me and, and say, just shut your door, just 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 do what he says. Just just bend over backwards, just deep throw his boot. I don't like to taste the leather. Not that I ever tasted it, but no, I'm not gonna taste it today. Today's not the day that I am gonna taste the leather. Never will. I'll die, I'll die on my feet before I die on my knees like a coward. You people out there, 
that 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 bend over. Just do what the cops say. If if they if they're here for you, they wouldn't have you do malicious shit and try to trample your rights. You know what I'm saying? They they didn't they didn't sign up to trample your rights. They they signed they signed up to protect and serve. Well, they don't even say that on their vehicles no more. They don't even say protect and serve. You know what I'm saying? And and the Supreme Court of the United States already ruled it is not his job to, to protect my life either. So what are they here for then? To run your name and call you out on, on past court cases that you already served time for? And then he asked, how is it, how's your case going? This case was from 2017, bro. It's 2023. We're in the middle of, of, of 2023. He's late. But if he really wants to know, I, I, I filled him in. I let him know. I served my time proudly. You know what I'm saying? Served my time proudly. Got nothing to hide. But it just shows you guys how petty. Like, why, why did he have, let's say I was on probation and parole. What was he going to do? Tell my probation officer or my parolee that Ar Ar Armando was video cameraing me and then I, I had to focus on him and it took me off task at hand? Any sane person would say, I tell him, him video recording, video recording you is, is keeping you from doing your job. How though? Like how? Talk to me like, like I'm in the third grade. Tell me how is me standing in my own room recording from a distance interfering with what he had he's the only one saying I'm interfering that dude never said I'm interfering the other cops never said I'm interfering he's the only one saying I'm interfering yeah I'm riled up because he, the dude was literally going to try I could be sitting in the back of a cop car right now because he wants to lie and say that I'm violating uh, um, interfering see and, and that's their go to they they think they think they could just throw that word around interfering. They, he he and he will. He would gladly throw that word interfering out just to ruin your day, so he could feel like he did right, like 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 he protected and served you, knowing that interfering is a physical act. Look at him. Look at him. Video cameraing me. Like I'm afraid to be on camera like him. Look at now 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 he's messing up my focus. I got to focus on him because he's recording me and taking pictures of me. Hey, let me get your name and badge number. There you go. I'm gonna FOIA request, and if he has any child porn on there or his naked wife and all that, it's gonna be on that. It's gonna be on that phone. That's the funny thing. I'm gonna FOIA request all all that information off that phone for them pictures. If he has any any nudity and all that, it comes to public because he's on he's on the job. So now he's probably gonna try to re, uh, try to redact all those pictures and all that, you know. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. I'm not gonna go file no damn police report. I'm not petty like him, bro. I got a life to live. I give a shit about no shitty cop. One, one shitty cop. You hear him? He said he's sending the, the the pictures to PD so they can run the, my information. Like that's petty. Like I, not that I care. I just want to show you guys that that's how petty he is. What is he gonna get? What he already knows that I did time for a crime. That's it. I ain't got shit to hide. You think I'm gonna be out here all in uh, speaking my mind? If I had anything to hide, I'll be inside like a coward. But I'm not a coward. I'm not a punk like him. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's the thing. I look at myself in the mirror and I, you see somebody proud. He looks at himself in the mirror and he sees a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's all he sees is a punk ass bitch. And he knows it. He knows it. Sits there touching dicks with other bad cops and slapping ass. Like the little bitch he is. You know what I'm saying? And just to let you guys know, I didn't curse him. I said nothing about it. I didn't know. I didn't care for the dude before he, he pulled all this petty shit. So you guys could say I'm bad for cursing at him. You guys say whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. I just don't like nobody being as petty as he is. You know what I'm That's on you guys. You guys want to let somebody trample your rights and be petty. Oh, you want probation or parole? So I can tell them that you were video cameraing us? And, and I couldn't focus on you because I'm mentally unstable? Oh, you're making fun of mentally unstable people. So he's admitting that he's mentally unstable by claiming that I'm making fun of mentally unstable people. Don't you think he would be saying, no, Armando Hernandez, what, uh, your court case, whatever. I'm not mentally unstable. No, he's not denying it. He's proud. He wears it. Probably got some autism patches tattooed on his ass. Next to that Elvis picture. Probably got some fucking pair of gloves on top of his asshole that says beat it up. Fucking faggot piece of shit look at him Herp he got herpes all on his face 
sharing hookahs and sharing herpes and shit. Nasty motherfucker. Dirty piece of shit. Fucking coward. And I only feel this way because how petty he got. I wouldn't curse nobody or disrespect anybody if they didn't disrespect me. And it shows. It's a show on camera, bro. I never said nothing to any of them. I never cursed that lady out. I never cursed this guy out. Never said nothing to nobody else but the petty one. You on probation or parole? I can't focus on my job because you got a camera. Fucking job ain't even dangerous, bro. They make their job as dangerous. As, uh, they they make their job dangerous. Fucking pizza guy delivering pizzas dies more than them. Garbage men, do, truck drivers on the freeway. Pe people that, that 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 are productive to society. The fuck is he doing by being productive by calling my name out and telling me that I'm interfering with it with it with his with it with his shitty job? No. Armando, like like he's gonna bother me by calling my name. <laughs> like this guy's a character. He get, he got my first he got the first laugh out of me today. That's funny. Armando, Armando, <laughs> fucking idiot, bro. I think that's why they say that these guys don't need a, an education or a high IQ to join the the forest, huh? Just proves it. The guy just proving every. Every bad thing you got to say, anybody has to say about a cop, he just proved, he just proved it all. And then what can you say about him that hasn't already been said? He proved everything by being petty. But then there's going to be some of you bootlickers that say that I'm being petty by by talking shit back and, and recording him. Yeah. Then what are my rights for? I'll just move. I'll just move to Mexico or Canada if I don't like my if I don't like exercising my rights. The fuck am I a proud American citizen for? You know what I'm saying? I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud to have rights. I, I pay my I pay my taxes to have my rights and all that shit. What? Just for this coward to come and try to trample him? No. See, look at why ain't this guy calling my name out? Why ain't this guy focused on me? Why ain't this Why ain't this guy trying to trying to get a rise out of me? Look at them. They they know how to focus on their job. If you ha if you have a disability and you can't focus, that's a disability. You can't focus. He's disabled. He shouldn't have a gun. Then, then he goes and takes pictures and sends them back to his HQ. I, I don't know what he's gonna get out of it. There's nothing. I, I'm clean as a whistle. You think I'm gonna be out here doing all this if I knew I had warrants or anything to hide? No, I'm not as stupid as him. It's fine though. Like I said, I, I can look in the mirror and see somebody proud, proud as hell. Not him. He has to look at himself in the mirror today and say, I try to violate somebody's rights by asking if they're on probation and parole so I could get them, their probation and parole violated all for exercising their rights. And like I said, I wasn't giving them a bad time. I, I, this is not something we see every day at the shelter, you know? Not every day they do probation sweeps at the shelter. I just wanted to get, get, get a look at what they were doing, you know? And him right away, you're interfering. Well, it wasn't right away. They get, they let me record for a little bit. But when they told me to turn my music down, I turned it off. You get what I'm saying? They told me to close my door. I said no. My door was already open when they got here. If I would have been the nosy rosy, opened it to see, and they told me to close it, then yeah, okay. Hey, you're right. Close it. But my shit was already open. I'm saying you can come over here and tell me to close my goddamn door. Fuck this. Fuck out of here. Uh, 45 seconds. I just can't wait to see what you guys have to say. I want to see. I want to get criticized. I want to see the the, the criticism. You guys, criticism. Criticize me for being upset that he tried to say that I was physically. Because the thing is, him saying that I was interfering is it, it can be labeled as breaking a law, breaking a crime. I could be in jail right now because he said that, and it's not true. I didn't physically interfere. You know what I'm saying? If you would have said that I'm bothering them, oh, cool, yeah, I'm bothering you. I, I, I'll, I'll man up to it. Yeah, I'm bothering you by recording. Okay, that's fine. But interfering? No, I was not interfering. Because interfering can lead me to, to being in handcuffs and in jail. I've been there, bro. Been there, done that. Not going back for exercising my First Amendment right to record, let alone in, in, inside my own room. You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault. He can't focus. They can focus. Them guys, 
Those, those guys right there, high five to them gentlemen. Those are some fine gentlemen. Those are some solid citizens. Not this guy. Hey, hi, man. This, this, this guy, no. Alvarado's trying to race him. No, no, no. This guy. Yeah. Horrible. But the funny thing is, there's going to be people out there defending him. Defending his sorry actions. It's fine, though. You guys got to live with yourselves, too. I did nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud. See? This guy just came and looked at me and looked the other way. Hasn't asked me if I'm on probation or parole. Hasn't told me I'm interfering. Hasn't called my name out. Hasn't took pictures of me to send him to Clovis PD. Hasn't done none of that. Why, why ain't they doing that? You know what I'm saying? Why is it just the one prick? Just him. And no, I'm not going to go file no complaints. and ah, Because if I do all that, then i got to take time out of my day and, and play his game. I'm not going to play his game. Better than that. I'm going to post it on YouTube, though, to show y'all how petty he is. Piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to me. I just want you guys to see how... One, one, one of the one of the bunch was petty. The rest of them didn't give me no hard time. None of them are focused on me. Why? Why are they a able to focus on the job, but he's not? What's wrong with him? Yeah, it has. Oh wait, they put a new. Uh, oh, get my gloves in the back. What else? Just the gloves. In the back. See that? See? Look at Why are they able to walk right by me like I'm a ghost? That one idiot, that fucking moron, that dick wrinkle, that fucking pussy fart was, was unable to focus on his job. But look at all these fine, solid citizens right there, able to, 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 to keep you know, the game plan. They were able to focus. Why wasn't he? What was wrong with him? He's unstable. Confrontational. Very confrontational. It's all about officer safety, right? For officer safety, they didn't save the kids in Uvalde, Texas. You always hear cops talking about, I just want to go home at the end of the day. You never hear them say things like, I can't wait to put my life on the line to save someone. So basically, we're paying cops to protect themselves. Castle Rock v. Gonzalez, DeShaney v. Winnebago, and other Supreme Court case laws is a stark reminder that cops do not have a duty to protect us. That's all a big lie that's been perpetrated on the people, just like cops swearing an oath to the Constitution. The truth of the matter is, they don't know the oath that they're swearing to. If you don't believe me, if you see a cop, ask a cop. And if you record it, and you'd like to send us your videos, send it to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. Patterns don't lie, folks. We've been asking cops if they know the First Amendment of the Constitution for years now, and none of them seem to know it. Because of channels like mine, we're beginning to teach cops, and more importantly, the people, that we have natural rights. I like to call them natural rights because that's exactly what they are. We were born with these natural rights. Some of you guys like to call them human rights and God-given rights, and that's okay as well. But I personally like to call them natural rights. I believe the First Amendment of the Constitution mirrors what our natural rights are. I recently did an interview with a channel called RPM Trey Vietnam, and he said something that blew my mind. He said the Second Amendment should have been the first because it would have reminded government that they absolutely cannot infringe on our rights because then we'd have a duty to protect ourselves from them. Keep in mind that the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the amendments, these documents were not written to give us our rights. These documents are written to limit the scope of authority that government has over we the people. That's why they scoff at you when you tell them that you have rights. That's why they call you names like sovereign citizen. The truth is, cops are the only sovereign citizens out there. They believe they're above the law. You and I both constantly see them driving fast with no emergency lights, speeding down the road, turning without signal lights, accident after accident, and nothing is being done about it. When are the people going to wake up? Is this what we're paying taxes for? How long will we be paying taxes for cops to behave this way and disregard the people's rights? I do like the way this guy handled himself. He was in his home. He didn't let off on these cops until they did the walk of shame. Those cops would have been better off just ignoring the dude. But these dumb cops, they just can't help themselves. It's a force of habit for them. 
Bullies will be bullies, folks. The people are sick and tired of this, though. That's why we're standing up to cops. That's why we're peacefully protesting with our cameras. And cops are lucky because right now the people are in a peaceful non-compliance. How do you think cops would behave if the people put down the cameras and picked up something else? Before you guys get out of here and go subscribe to this dude's channel, I'm going to let you guys know what the First Amendment of the Constitution is. You have the freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and freedom to petition your government for redress of grievances. If you don't know your rights, you don't have any rights. And always, always record the police, folks. It's important. Your camera could possibly save your life or someone else's as well. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you haven't yet. People keep sending us videos every single day, so expect new videos just about every single day. All right, folks, if you hit the bell, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.